Innovation needs to go with affordable access and that also needs to go with eventually the conversion to genetics. It's so important for us to collaborate with our state partners and uh, as a Maryland person myself I feel like I'm back to my roots here uh, meeting with colleagues from the, from the state. Um, the states are a laboratory of experimentation and policy. They're also a source eventually of many of the members of Congress. Um, so states, our, our state collaborations have always been very important to bio. And I'm really thrilled to be here to meet with Kelly, our new, our new uh, head of the Technology Council of Maryland. I think we're going to have a great collaboration together. I'm really excited that Maryland as a bio hub is, is advancing the industry um, in many different levels. Right, so being able to attract businesses and help businesses expand in Maryland, that's working. Maryland is now ranked number four across the nation. We're really close to number three, and our goal is, of course, to be number one. One of the things that I think Kelly did so well in her role uh, as part of the Hogan administration is that together with the administration, they demonstrated such a positive bipartisanship in how they work together to solve problems for the people of Maryland. It's a model that I think we can use across the country in state houses as well as at the national at the national level. So very excited that she's bringing that same spirit and that energy to her role at the Tech Council. We're lucky to have her. We want to be able to make sure that we have an environment uh, where the legislature, the administration, and the business are all working on the same path to do one thing, and that's to be able to grow the businesses and the ecosystem here in the state of Maryland to be able to create new jobs, to be able to build communities, and to help our families grow and prosper.